Hey everyone, it's Tony George coming to you on a Wednesday with a Thursday Bowl update. Couple of, a lean and a pick uh, for Thursday Bowls. Um, and we're going to talk about, we'll give you a free play of the Pinstripe Bowl and a lean in, in another game here and discuss uh, these bowls and what we've seen. You know, I've been doing this 32 years and the, this year and maybe the previous two years have kind of been, uh, they have been unlike any other in my 32 years of handicapping. It used to be motivation, how the coach is doing the bowl, and you match up, you know, uh, good defenses getting points on neutral sites and all the things that you used to handicap to arrive at a uh, decision that financially you felt well in taking a position on a side or a total. With this transfer portal, um, which at the end of the day is going to end up ruining college college football, and maybe even college basketball to a certain degree, but college football now is nothing more than a farm club and a prep course for trying to get to the NFL. Um, and it's sad, like like the Pac-12 just being completely eviscerated off the planet with the year they have and the teams they have in there, all many of them, which are top 25 teams. The teams you have left standing in the, a lot of these bowl games now that we're getting into Power 5 conference schools, um, these teams are like a shell of themselves, a skeleton. Because there's, for instance, just one example, the Georgia and Florida State game. There's over 20 starters out in this game combined for both teams. What are you going to get? What are you going to get in any of these? What's the chemistry developed in three weeks of practice leading up to a game with a bunch of kids who've never played together before as a unit? They've only been just subbing in and out during the year. I mean, unproven quarterbacks. You know, interim coaches. Interim coaching staffs. I mean, now some of these you could take. I took advantage of this very situation in the Air Force game, which was my eight-unit bowl game of the year, because you had James Madison, who had a magical year. Head coach left, took five assistants with him. I mean, eight starters out on defense against a triple option attack with their stud quarterback, Larry, are coming back, and Air Force's head coach, one of the best top ten coach in college football. No kidding. And in armed forces, armed forces do extremely well in the bowls. They always have, but especially recently, they don't have any transfers out. And they've done well in the bowls. So, yeah, it was a big move there as an underdog. You know, there was some advantage to taking advantage of what's going on in the world of college football. But the player and coach carousel is spinning a lot faster than when I started doing this back in 1992 when bowl games really meant something. Now, the final four left standing, um, as we all know, uh, they're coming in at full strength and they got their ears pinned back and they're going to play ball. You're going to take the better team and you're going to bet them. You know, that's it. I mean, that's something you can do confidently. You know, and if some team has four turnovers, during the is minus four in the turnover category, that team's going to lose. You know, something crazy probably going to happen in one of those two games. But you got to be real careful here. And uh, let's go ahead just to let you know, that's why my volume is going to be so low, even with so many bowl games out. You know, I'm just not chasing, and I'm surely not going to take strong financial positions in games I don't feel there's any value in. Um Getting to these games on Thursday, uh, one team I thought outside of Minnesota, Boston College, and Minnesota was a five-win team and somehow played well yesterday against a good Bowling Green team, which was a really good game to watch. It could have went either way, but Minnesota pulled it. I'd put out a small position on Twitter, at T. George Sports, I might add, uh, how you follow me to get the additional free plays I don't put on YouTube and my thoughts on games and halftime picks, second half line, stuff like that. But um, outside of Minnesota, because they're a five-win team, I think Boston College was maybe the worst power five team 
uh, left standing um, going into the bowl games. And SMU is a good football team. They really don't have too many opt-outs. Uh, their quarterback that's starting won them an AAC championship. Um, they got a lot of moxie. They got, they're well coached. They got a high-powered offense. I'm not sold on Boston College at all. And um, I think SMU might have their way with them there uh, in the Fenway Bowl. And that's an early game tomorrow. Just a small lean. I'm not afraid of those points with SMU. Now, in the Pinstripe Bowl there in New York, you got Rutgers laying two and a half to Miami. First of all, we have a coaching mismatch. Uh, Shiano's a lot better than Cristobal. Uh, that's number one. Number two is I created a sheet showing on my Word docs, showing every game and what we had in terms of what we know in terms of opt-outs. Well, Miami is the who's who of their football team. Uh, Van Dyke, their quarterback, is out. 19 touchdowns, you know, 12 picks. I mean, he was good, but also not good. You know, he's very Christian Slater-ish. He sucks, but he's good, but he sucks at the same time. Um, also, wide receiver, uh, uh, Colby Young, out. 47 receptions, almost 600 yards, five TVs, five TDs. Their leading tackler, James Williams, is out. Safety. Also, backup safety, DB Kitchens is out. 59 tackles. Edge rusher, uh, Harvey, out. Uh, uh, other defensive tackle, Leonard, uh, Taylor is out, 20 tackles. Linebacker Corey Flagg is out, 48 tackles. Um, Rutgers has one cornerback that is out. Um, I think Miami's too depleted. I can't trust them without Van Dyke at quarterback. Give me Rutgers minus the two and a half um, in this game on Thursday. Now, Thursday, we will have our last bowl releases um, for you. There's going to be some dramatic line swings. You saw one last night. We had Kansas laying 13. We put out last Thursday. That line closed at 6.5. 95% of people that got in on the pick after last Thursday won the bet. It went down to 8 and then 6.5. It was a heck of a ball game. UNLV gave them all they had. Just wasn't enough in the tank. Landed on 13. Kansas with I don't know how many personal fouls. Almost 200 yards of penalties. Uh, and we're turning the ball over. Still won by 13. But um, you're going to see some of this craziness going on over the next five days. Including New Year's Day. But we'll have all our bowls out. We'll have our NFL out, which may have only two picks all week. And one of them is going to be a seven-unit play. And that's going to be about it. Uh, the next two weeks in the NFL... Much like the college bowl, it's going to be totally unpredictable. Uh, you got some huge numbers getting thrown around out there right now, and also some numbers that don't make any sense, and we're trying to make sense of them. Um, also, the Gridiron Six Pack Show with Griff Murphy will be tomorrow instead of Wednesday. We had kind of a setback because of the holiday weekend and then Christmas on Monday, and myself, just like Griffin, was traveling back from Chicago where his family is at. And just got back late yesterday. Uh, I have, we're normal people, although we do this crazy thing for a living. Um, I have a house full of family and friends in town. Uh, more coming in for the New Year's holiday and watching bowl games. All my buddies are sports fanatics, or basically they're not my buddy. Uh, but nonetheless, <coughs> so we're going to, we wanted to step back a day. Last week was one of the uh, only the third losing week, I don't know, 14, whatever it's been, that we've had on the show. It wasn't a good week last week. And um, we want to make sure we got it doubly correct. We will address one of the final four games, uh, Michigan, Alabama, on the show for you. So you get one of the big ones. We got three bowl games, two NFL, uh, three NFL uh, picks for you on the show. It'll be up tomorrow. We're going to tape it early in the morning, like 10.30, our type. So it'll be up by 2 Central tomorrow for you. For the Gridiron Six Pack, we've got college basketball kicking back in, starting back up full-time on Thursday. We're on a hell of a roll in the, in the NBA. 
and uh, we barely put out any picks, but we're on such a roll. We're just put, we're cherry picking one a day now. That won't last forever, but uh, we're cherry picking one. We're on eleven and two roll there. Hockey's been uh, hot, and uh, we're looking forward for a low volume, high return weekend in football. Doc Sports free sixty bucks. Link in the description below. Tab on the upper left hand corner of the website. Go get a free sixty bucks. Never been a member. That is strings free, hassle free, no obligation. Give us a test ride, me or 11 of the other uh, handicappers over there. They got a couple of consensus services. Um, one of them is really hot, Doc says, and uh, uh, a lot of free plays and great information over there for you as well. Enjoy your bowls on Thursday. Back at you on Thursday with the six pack. And then Friday, we'll have some uh, weekend picks for you for free right here on Doc's YouTube channel.